Hey y'all, Aragon Angie with Gateway to Aragons. I've got a new one, a new group review coming up. This is part one on the Daystate Huntsman Revere in 22 caliber. This is from Airguns of Arizona. Thank you guys so much for sending it to me. It's not just the rifle though, guys. This is all about the We the Plinkers package. Um, it comes with several different things, but let's not get into that first. This is part one of my group review on it. Let's grip it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to Gateway to Airguns for making this video possible. Go check them out, guys, www.gatewaytoairguns.org. www.gatewaytoairguns.org. From butt to muzzle, total length is 36 and a half inches long, and the total weight is 6.17 pounds. Attached to its copper-colored butt pad is the beautiful walnut stock. It has what they call a rollover cheek piece that is available for left or right handed shooters. The grip and forearm are beautifully textured and this grip cap adds a nice touch. On the belly of the gun you'll find the trigger guard and of course the two stage adjustable trigger. And there's a nice little day state emblem under there as well with the stock screw. Above the forearm is the 162cc air cylinder that fills to a max fill pressure of 250 bar or 3625 psi. The fill port is located just under the easy to read pressure gauge located at the end of the air cylinder. Yes, you will need a fill probe, which is included, but the QD um, adapter is not, the male QD adapter is not, so be sure to add that to the cart before you leave. Moving on up, you'll find the 17 inch rifled and shrouded barrel with a half UNF and a zero DB, which is also included in the plinkers package. Following the barrel back toward the action, there's the breech for your 11-shot magnetic aluminum flip-top magazine or the magnetic single-shot tray. Because this one is for right-handed shooters, the cocking lever is on the right side of the rifle. If it was a left-handed rifle, of course it would be the opposite. The safety, I would say, is ambidextrous positioned on the back of the action. Now, like I said, this is a We the Plinkers package, so you get more than the rifle. Included with this package, you'll get the MTC Optics Mamba Ultralight 3 to 10 by 40 side focus scope, as well as high one inch dovetail scope mounts to fit the dovetail rail, a soft case, and a We the Plinkers patch, as well as a matching t shirt. Everything you'll get with this package except for the male quick disconnect um, adapter. You'll need to get that, of course, but everything else you'll get with this package will get you out to the range and shooting. Don't forget the pellets or the pants. On to operation. So the safety is engaged and the optic is mounted. This is a PCP, so we must get air. What do we need? We need the fill probe and, of course, we need a fill source. So choose your fill source, attach the probe to that source, insert your probe into the fill port, and fill it to a max of 250 bar. Bleed the valve and remove the fill probe. Now let's fill the 11 shot mag. Now this one is actually pretty simple. You're basically going to flip up the cover, you're going to turn the inside drum all the way around clockwise, you're going to load your pellets, that's pretty much it, and then flip the cover back closed, insert the mag into the breech. But before before you can insert the mag into the breech, you need to pull the cocking lever back to move the pellet pusher out of the way. Then insert the mag into the breech, push the cocking lever forward, take aim at your intended target, disengage the safety, and squeeze the trigger. Okay, now that we know a little bit about the Daystate Huntsman Revere and 22 Cal from Airguns of Arizona, it's time to take my first shots. We're gonna move it up to 25 yards just to test some pellets and take some test so shots and see how it does. So here we go, center target. Has a very, very nice trigger, as well as side lever. Just to clarify guys, and these aren't seeing glasses, these are just costume glasses, but I like them better than safety glasses, so maybe I'm a dork, but yeah. Okay, I shot an extra pellet because 
I wanted to see, my glasses were like this and I was kind of seeing the top of the frame when they were sliding down. And I do believe that that was the problem because that sixth one, I guess, went through the same hole. So Barracuda, H&N Barracuda 18s. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's go ahead and load with the, these ones are JTS dead centers. Um, they have proven to be pretty sweet in other air guns. Let's see how they shoot in this one. Second group, I'm going to go with the top left target. About the same place. These ones are must be a little bigger in diameter. Oh my gosh. Well, because I gave the other one another chance, I should probably do that with this one. Okay. This is going to be tough. That's the results at 25 yards. Both did the same. As far as I can tell from here, I've got some more pellet testing to do guys with the Daystate Huntsman Revere and 22 Cal and a plethora of, of, of other pellets, dome top hunting, some slugs. We're going to check it out and get back with you in grip part two, but that was part one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Airgun Angie with Gateway to Airguns. Thank you so much Airguns of Arizona for sending us this so it can be a part of the grip program. Thank you all for all of your support. I would like to take a moment to say thank you to Gateway to Airguns. Thank you all so much for making these videos possible. If you guys have not checked them out, you really, really should. If you're an air gunner, you like air guns, you like shooting, go check out www.gatewaytoairguns.org. There is something for every air gunner alive. I promise. If you guys want to find out more about this gun or anything else that Air Guns of Arizona carries go to www.airgunsofarizona.com i did it again <laughs> you got the w's <laughs> that's it for today guys i'm airgun angie y'all don't just have a good day have an awesome one see ya <laughs>